Hi everyone, Kieran of Asapien here for Filmstorm Studios, and today we're going to look at creating root motion for your animations inside of Maya, and we're going to learn how to bring that back into Unity uh, to create like simple animations. And here you can see we've got a, a sample um, root motion, and basically the whole idea of root motion is this um, ground point that will move uh, relative to where your character is. So this way it will give us really nice root motion and help us. Um, with our animations. So to get started let's jump into Maya. We're gonna just create a new scene that way we know everything's the same. We're gonna come and make sure we're in rigging, skeleton, human IK and we're just gonna click on create skeleton and if you click out and then press F you can frame on your skeleton and basically what we want to achieve for this guy is to create another joint which will come right down the middle and sit um, right on this grid here and it wants to be in between this reference node and the hips but how do we do that? well with this um, scale and bones area that we just um, popped up after we created the skeleton under the extra line you can see hips translation if we click that you'll notice a new bone appears in between and this is going to be our root node so we can actually come and rename this guy, if you can call it root. And then what we're going to do is for root, we're going to come up to the channel box layer editor and make it zero under that translate Y. And in the hips section, we're going to come in, make this 100. And there we go, we have our root motion node all set up and ready to animate. So if we jump back to our human IK, and into whoop, and into our source control rig. This is going to be our skeleton that we can animate on and you can see that it's really nice to animate. It has all the joints that have IK set up on them. Um, your guy might look a little bit different because you can come into edit control rig, rig look and go between all the different options. But I personally prefer the box uh, as it looks like a human and that way I can actually see um, when joints and stuff are moving. But for now, let us just create a very simple animation. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Let's just um, grab that and let's just wiggle his leg forward. All right, so he's just doing this nice slide. But what's going to happen is our root motion node is going to move forward in that space. So let's maybe create another keyframe. Oh, not there. Let's uh, 40 and it's 70. Let's just move this guy, another keyframe, and bring this forward and bring that down. Let me just jump into the side view so I can make sure it's all nice and aligned. That's a little bit out. Okay, now let's just play through it. Okay, that should be perfect. Alright, so let's just jump back into our perspective. Now one thing with my you want to save regularly, so let's just uh, call this uh, root motion test, I'm going to call it 3 because I've done this a couple of times now. And what we're going to do now is we need to get this animation back onto our skeleton. So let's just jump back to the first frame and come up to here and go bake and bake the skeleton. And just to show you that I have all the default settings, let's just click reset settings, close this and then bake the skeleton. And now you'll see our root motion node will move with our character, but there's a problem. If I jump back into that side view, you'll notice this is that this little line here is the, the floor. Our root motion node moves down, but this is because our hips are moving down. So we need to correct this, and it's quite simple. All we need to do is jump back to our perspective. Let's go back to our root node, up to our channel editor, and let's hold shift and drag all the way out and control right mouse click copy excellent now what we want to do is come to our hips and jump into the anim layer this is going to be our animation layers and click this little uh, plane with a ball there and go to animation layer one make sure you're on the first frame right mouse click paste and now you'll see that that's uh, moving and what we want to do now 
is come up to translate Y, break that connection, and that is looking good. Now one more thing that we will need to do for this, this animation is come to the hips, make sure you're on the first frame, in translate Z, let's break the connection. And now you can see, even though it's not the perfect animation, if we jump into that side view, the root motion sticking to the floor, everything's moving very nicely. And that that's working really well. So now we have that, that root motion node that we need. And of course, if you spend a bit of time, you can create a really nice looping animation for walking, running, jumping. Jumping's the same principle, and I'll show you that um, one probably in a separate tutorial because that requires a little bit more work. But this is just the general overflow of how to create root motion. So now let's jump back to our perspective view. And we're going to actually export this into Maya now. So, I mean, to Unity. So let's go File, Export All, and let's just create a uh, root test. I'm going to call it, uh, what do you call this, a lunge? Let's put lunge. And you don't have to change any of the settings. And let's jump back into Unity. And let's import new asset. And what we're going to do is let me just navigate to my, my thing. Alrighty, I'm just going to import uh, the animation. And if you come up to Rig, Generic, change that to Humanoid, Create from this model. Uh, once you've created a definition, it's easier just to use a previous, a previous one. So let's click Apply. Okay, now we can come up to here and you'll see our little animation playing and it looks a bit funky, but that's because we need to configure our avatar. So in here, we can see we've got our avatar, and we just want to come through and make sure all of these are looking good. They all look pretty good. Let's come and click Done. And just because our, our actual thing isn't probably that, that great, but you can actually see um, the root motion working properly and you have all the root motion options. So if you come in click that one and let's probably set it to feet and you can see the root motion working correctly. Now of course yeah I'm just saying like this this animation is quite quite bad um, but I mean the same principle applies to any other file so if I jump back over I've got this little walk injured um, animation that I was working on and you can see it's um, it loops really nicely and the, the root motion works so this way we have a nice walking forward animation and then if we bring that into here and yeah, just click apply for that one uh, let me just grab where did I put it no, I don't think I have it. Let me just re-import that one. Walk forward injured. And change that to that one. I've actually got an avatar set up, which is root test 2. Apply. Excellent. Now let me come into animator. I'll drop this guy in. I'll make that the default, so that way it will play automatically. Now, let us jump back into here, walk, and let me loop it, set that, okay, apply, and you can see that we have our animation, I mean it's not the, the most perfect one, but <laughs> um, it is doing the job of what we needed it to do, so there you go. So that's basically how you create root motion for your characters. The next tutorial I'll focus more on jumping, which actually requires um, using some measurement tools inside Maya, but I'm sure we'll all, we'll all understand and we'll get there in the end. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll put um, these two animations I made up on my website so you can download them and have a play. And that way you can actually understand how, how it works and I'll put the, um, 
the scene file, I'll even put this this injured one. I'll probably put the injured one rather than that that lunge one, so that way you can actually see how this um, functions and works. And you can even export this to Unity to get some practice for that. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.